I was just out and about uh, taking care of some personal errands, and I just happened to uh, drive by our local high school. And it's been about uh, probably a week and a half now, maybe two weeks since the uh, graduation ceremony was held, and the seniors got turned loose on the world. And at the same time, or about the same time, you've got universities and colleges and trade schools and tech schools all having their graduations. And some of those graduates are getting what we call terminal degrees. That is a PhD or an MD or a JD or an EDD or any of those, or maybe it's just ED. I forget which it is. Uh, but those are accomplishments. Getting a doctorate level degree, a terminal degree, is something to be proud of. Graduating high school, you know, I've just finished 13 years of education. 13 because I count kindergarten. That's something to be proud of. If you're on the job and the boss comes in, hey, uh, good job, you really uh, handled that account really well, or you handled that tough customer well, that's something you can feel a little bit of pride in. Hey, Mr. Waiter, thank you for your service. It was really good, and you know, here's a nice tip. Miss Waitress, appreciated what you did. Here's a, here's a nice tip for you. You can feel a little bit of pride. Yeah, I took care of that customer. Uh, I, I uh, uh, got uh, an increase in our sales. Yeah, I can have some pride in that. Maybe you scored the winning touchdown in a football game, you and that made you win the state title, your team win the state title. Or from downtown, you got the three-pointer that put you into the playoffs. Or a uh, the home run that uh, saved the season and got you uh, into the playoffs. Or at least got you a winning season. Yeah, you can have some pride in those kinds of accomplishments. And that is good pride. But there's a dark side to pride, too. There is unhealthy bad pride. And that's what we're going to look at in this series. And we're going to look at things like, is it ever okay to uh, have pride or be proud? Especially, is it okay for me to be proud of something that the Bible says is a sin? So get your Bibles and open them up and open your minds. And, rem and remember, if you're not careful, you might just learn something before we're done. So let's get started.